Hello, welcome to the Gardening Advice here at the Old Railway Line Garden Centre. We're going to do a talk now on um, what people could be doing in March in the kitchen garden and also the greenhouse as well. So Keith, I'll let you start us off. What is there to do in these, these areas this month? Oh, a lot. This is a really good, <laughs> really good month to, to get back into the, into the vegetable and fruit garden and looking forward to the, the new harvest. Uh, you know, most of the stored crops will have probably been used up by now, so people uh, can't wait to get sowing and, and um, getting their, you know, their new produce online. Um, so in the vegetable garden, it's really just finishing off the soil preparation. So that hopefully the digging and, and uh, manuring will have been done. So it's really just um, breaking up the, the larger clumps of, of earth with a, a fork and then raking over and providing a, a nice, what they call a tilth for a, a seed bed. And then um, the first sowings can go in. I think you've got to you've got to wait until you feel that the soil's warm enough, but uh, first sowings of, of lettuce and, and rocket, um, leeks, uh, spring onions, um, early peas and carrots. Uh, towards the end of the month, I would have thought, for, for March, depends on what the weather's going to do to us, we don't really know, do we? We never know. Um, so, uh, beginning of the sowings. Um, potatoes, if you're going to grow potatoes in pots inside or in the greenhouse, uh, you can probably start uh, putting some of those in in the early part of the month, but the first earlies really go in in, in the second half of, of March. Um, traditionally, people have planted them on uh, on Good Friday, but as you know, that moves around, but it's always in either late March or early April as it is this year, so um, the, the early, early potatoes in the, in the second half of the month, I think. Brilliant. And is there, is there anything else? I know you, you've stood us by the herbs here, so... Well, yes, the, the first of our herbs came in uh, last week. Some nice little plants. So again, $1.99 or 6 for 10 is it's very good value. So if you start planting up the herb pots or sowing herbs or, or dividing um, some uh, clumps of herbs, you might have some, say, mint that's got a rather large clump and you can start dividing that up. But just be careful, of course, because it will fill the whole pot or it will fill your whole garden if you let it. So be careful with mint. But um, yeah, it's so herbs um, beginning of the season again. And the nice thing about these these herbs, they they are at the stage where they're quite small, so they can be contained for someone who hasn't really got much mm. of a garden but wants them on the windowsill or or something like that. They can be contained at this stage. Yeah. Just um, we planted up a few pots yesterday with with three or four in just nice terracotta pots, so you can have them uh, just outside your, your your kitchen and nip out and just snip some herbs, you know, using your cooking. Um, fruit, uh, it's a good time to plant fruit trees, uh, fruit bushes, um, strawberries, we've just got a few strawberries behind us. Um, let's get the fruit, uh, fruit garden, uh, you know, going again. And now the other thing that we're looking at now is in the greenhouse. Obviously a key thing, because the weather hasn't warmed up much, is, is to still check the temperature there in the greenhouse. And maybe people can start thinking now about the small plug plants and getting them ready maybe starting to to plant them out and just just grow them on a little bit now in the mm, greenhouse yeah. as long as the temperature is is right yeah there. And, and if you heat you've got to heat your greenhouse overnight um, for things like that so the, the heated greenhouse is much more useful at this time of year because you can you can buy those plug plants uh, i think that they're best planted up straight away they, they come with pretty small root ball so uh, plant them up but they will need heat overnight um, and with that heat you can also sow things like tomatoes and cucumbers, aubergines, peppers um, they need to be sowed in, in, in a heater propagator to get them going or inside you can do them in an airing cupboard so you've just got to keep an eye on it as soon as they sprout you've got to get them out but uh, they'll need heat to get them going and then heat overnight to, to keep them growing well but uh, if you've got that heat um, uh, you will need to you know, spend the money on that you've insulated your greenhouse there's quite a lot you can do in the, in the next month that's really well thanks very much Keith and just to finish now we have coming up at the garden centre here in the first part of the event the grow your own day mm. here at the garden centre yeah. with a, this talks going on at the yep. garden centre um, all the information for that again is on the website um, so just have a look and um, and pop along really it should be a, a good day and yeah. with some interesting stuff going on yeah, it's the middle Saturday I think it's the 14th I think and lots of offers for, for grow your own you know and uh, more and more people are, are, are doing that you know there is there is nothing better than eating your own produce it's, it's come straight from your garden you know exactly what you've put on it or what you haven't put on it um, and people you know like that these days and uh, beginning to, to realise how good it can be that's brilliant well thanks very much Keith